The relationship between unsprung and sprung weight also affects riding comfort and steering stability. Let's suppose that you grab the car body and raise it up. The wheels, axles, and brake system hang down. The weight of these components is called the unsprung weight. The weight of the other components, including the body, is called the sprung weight. Here is a demonstration to show how the relationship between the unsprung weight and sprung weight affects riding comfort and steering stability. As you can see, when the sprung weight is large, the tendency of the body to be jolted decreases even if there is a bump on the road surface. So a large and heavy body ensures a more comfortable ride. When the unsprung weight is small, the wheels respond quickly to irregularities in the road surface, hold the road better, and thus help to improve steering stability. Using aluminum wheels is one way to reduce the unsprung weight and improve steering stability. Let's take a look at the kinds of jolting and shaking which occur in an actual vehicle. The first is pitching. When the vehicle goes over large bumps in the road surface or when driving on a rough track, the front and back of the vehicle move up and down in opposite directions. The passenger feels this as a tipping back and forth. Rolling is when the body rolls to the side during a turn or while driving along a bumpy road. Bouncing is the up and down shaking of the entire body when driving along an undulating road. It often happens when the springs are soft. In yawing, the front and back of the vehicle move sideways in opposite directions when the vehicle goes over large bumps in the road surface or when driving on a rough track. The passenger feels this as a sideways shaking. Apart from these, the wheels and axles suffer types of jolting related to the unsprung weight called hopping, tramping, and wind-up. Hopping is the bouncing of the driving wheels when the vehicle is started and stopped abruptly. Tramping is the up and down jolting in opposite directions of the left and right wheels. This is most common in vehicles with rigid axle suspension. Wind-up occurs in vehicles with leaf spring suspension. The leaf springs attempt to wind themselves around the axle due to the acceleration and braking torque. The spring's flexure changes at the front and the back, causing jolting. A number of features can be implemented in suspension systems to suppress this jolt.